Well, Eid Mubarak is the first thing that I should say. Uh, wishing our dear uh, Muslim brothers and sisters a happy uh, celebration on the breaking of the fast. That is the completion of the 30-day um, uh, sacrifice. Okay, uh, nevertheless, we will be adding some work to it. So uh, this morning, let's, let's look at a bit of politics. Let's go over to Edo State and uh, the politics over there. Um, and of course, you know, the big news out of Edo State is that um, there's a new deputy governor. There are complaints from the deputy governor who has been impeached, been removed, and has been replaced. Um, from his camp, we've been hearing things like um, it's an, it was an illegal uh, operation, all of it. Well, our guest this morning knows just about everything there is to know about politics in uh, Edo State. Uh, Prince Kasim Afegwa is uh, an APC chieftain and public affairs analyst. Uh, good morning to you, Kasim. Good morning, Yuri. Indeed. Eid Mubarak. So, I, I say Eid Mubarak to you as well. Um, the, it, it's quite dynamic, uh, I would imagine, in, uh, uh, because the governor had said when he, I think in part of his speech, that he had never imagined in that the course of serving out his tenure that he would um, ever need, uh, ever have recourse to uh, two deputy governors. Uh, but the circumstances, uh, he called, he had called um, the, uh, new gov uh, the new deputy governor uh, the man of the moment. And uh, apparently that was necessary. So now let me ask you, <laughs> what does this do to uh, the lie of the ground in there? November is, you know, when the election shall actually take off. Uh, that this no, has September, happened. September. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. You're, you're right. September. So yeah. how has this affected things if it has, uh, one, in your estimation as an analyst, for the PDP, and then for APC, who is aiming to take over government house uh, in Endo State? Well, uh, first and foremost, whether there was an impeachment or not, APC would defeat PDP. That's not in doubt, because of the abysmal performance of the governor and uh, uh, for which a lot of people know that he's uh, bringing a, a godson to succeed him. And uh, the popularity of APC presently in Edo State is very remarkable, very fundamental. And uh, the governor, as it were, uh, has been spreading hatred across the state. You see, you see the deputy fighting the governor, or let me say the former deputy now fighting the governor, the governor fighting the former deputy. He's fighting the party leaders. There is Dan Obi's camp. There is legacy camp. There is this, there is that. Even now, he has created another, another problem for himself, going to pick a, a new deputy governor from the Labour Party. You know? So leaving the legacy PDP, leaving uh, those who came with him from APC, have an issue, and going to a fresh and, some, and And I had some people say that was a master stroke. That was bullshit. bullshit. Yeah, but but, but when I, you say but but I like I like it. Let me finish party. this thought. When, when you say from the Labour thought, Party, I like he was a member yes. of of PDP when he was appointed. He, he was, was no 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 no. He was he was uh, he was the candidate of the Labour Party in the last election. An ex parent, as of rep. And so he has never been a member of PDP. So that's, that has generated its own crisis, internal crisis, which is good for me because I want to see as much as PDP gets into trouble, into crisis, the better for the APC in the state. Because uh, whatever that will make uh, Obaseku to lose the election in, on, on September 21st, that one I am subscribed. I'm subscribing to because uh, wh wh whether they try to manipulate the process or try to steal the show from the, through the back door, every day they are getting into crisis, and I'm so happy about it. The impeachment of the of the former deputy governor uh, is also generating some crisis. Uh, the legacy. PDP, who are the original owners of the PDP, before Baseki came to torpedo the, uh, the, the party, they are also there. And so 
there, there are quite a number of issues, you know, that will, uh, that will impact, you know, negatively on the elections on the part of the PDP. And I'm happy about that, that uh, APC is getting a foothold. Because uh, the APC is very, as, 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 as you know, uh, reconciled differences that emanated as a result of the primaries. Uh, we, have, we have resolved to move ahead as one formidable uh, political family. Uh, 28 aspirants initially indicated interest to contest the election. Uh, at the end of the day, one person emerged and they only made. And so we have been able to reconcile all of these differences and we are moving forward with the sole purpose of unseating you know, the PDP in the state. And we're going to beat them silly. I'm saying this, I've said it before, and somebody was asking, say, how? I say, well, the, 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 the analysis is quite, is quite obvious because when you have a governor who is not able to connect with the people, when you see too much of hypocrisy, too much of uh, contradiction playing out in the political equation in the state, there's no how that that can birth a new dawn for Edo. Edo needs you know, a, a breath of fresh air. We are mm -hmm. tired of all of this quarry. You see the governor's camp taking the upper of Benin to court. You see uh, challenging uh, who should be in possession of artifact or not. You see another set of people uh, be, be, be being sponsored to, 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 to balkanize the Benin kingdom and all that. A thing that has never happened, that has never been the tradition, the, Bini, the upper of Benin, Precisely over the entire seven local governments of, uh, of Edo South, nobody has contemplated that with him. Now you want to balkanize and create some kingdoms in those places, abomination of, in, in its own right, in its own self. All right. And yet, okay. you, you think the people are not listening, or you think the people are not saying? No. We, we want September 21st to come. Even without campaigning, we will beat PDP silly. Okay. Um, I don't know how significant uh, it is, the uh, Shaibu factor is, and by that I mean, um, look, have we heard the last of this? Because Shaibu and his lawyers say they are approaching the courts, they are approaching, approaching the NJC, uh, that it, was, it, it couldn't have been more improper uh, the way the whole exercise was conducted. And so they are actually you know, approaching the courts, which is about all that is left to them now. Um, so have we really heard the end of this? Uh, are you sure that it's uh, been well, done and trusted? Well, well, for me, I, you, you know me, Yori, I'll tell you the way the things are. Uh, it, may be, it may be very bitter, but that's the home truth. The point is, uh, for whatever it's, it takes, uh, Philip Shabu may, on account of his own political trajectory, uh, try to see how to redeem the word impeachment, you know, that will now be uh, uh, hanging on his neck, you know, as a political factor and actor. And that word impeachment means that you have been found wanting and not been able to live up to the conditionality of what defines leadership as it were and so that's a minus so he may want to go the whole hog of seeking legal uh, redress so as to remove that part of that kind of tag around his name that's one secondly the, this is a game of no sympathy yori i don't have sympathy for anybody if i have the powers to even impeach the governor i will do so just right now as i'm sitting here I, the two of them will have been pitched to leave the political landscape of Edo so that we can begin to think anew, you know, to, 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 to resonate something different from these altercations, counter-accusations, accusations, contradictions, all kinds of bestialities that have dominated political discourse in Edo, putting Edo in the news for the wrong reasons all the time. So for me, uh, Philip Schwebel, uh, they, were, they, are the, they are best of the same feather. You know, they, 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 they didn't look backward to see where they were coming from. When, once they got into power, the thing got into their heads. And before you say Jack Robinson, they started fighting every Tom, Dick, and Harry. There's too much quarrel in it, though. They are too quarrelsome.
fight today, fight tomorrow. That it is the reason why the governor is not able to perform. If you if you multiply what we get from the state, um, for, in terms of federal allocation plus our internally generated revenue, there will be no reason for Edo to be ranking th uh, fifth among states that are indebted in the country. There will be no reason because, in fact, allocation federal allocation has in improved, you know, geometrically. Um, Internal, internal, internal generated revenue has also improved from two, point, from two billion inherited to 2.5 to 3 billion monthly uh, IGR. If you, if you add that together and you try to see whether there is a corresponding you know, uh, value to what obtains presently in Edo State, you see that it's, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are far apart. So when you have a leadership that is quarrelsome, that is always fighting, that is always interested in creating crisis, and all that. An average Edo man who, 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 who has, you know, love and emotional intelligence for the people will, will naturally feel so betrayed. So in Edo State as we speak, everyone is talking about having a, a breath of fresh air. And it is, it is only going to be possible if Obasaki and his godsons are shown the exit door in this, okay. in this coming election. And okay. and the APC the APC is going to is going to try all within its power to ensure that we campaign around all the 192 wards in the state, tell people where it, 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 it was before Obaseke and Philip Shwebu, tell people where we should be because we want to be in sync with federal government so that we won't have a governor that will be saying. This road is federal road. This one is state road. Oh, and it's not able to do state road. At the same time, it's not able to do federal road. We want APC, a do state to be a government of APC so that together they can be in sync with the federal government and ask for, you know, some kind of uh, attention, you know, to all the infrastructural decay that presently exists in those state. So uh, for Philip Shabu, a lot of people will not bother about whether he was impeached or not because if you look at the uh, visuals coming from Edo State, you see that even members of his local government, Esako West local government, protested, had a meeting, protested, and even issued a communique saying they, they are yeah. disowning him, they don't want him to join APC. You know? This, this, is, it, it this, is because, this brings me. It is because this, of where they are coming from. Okay, this brings me to the question I was going to ask you as an analyst, that um, what now for him, as an analyst, the way, since we are just analyzing the lie of the ground. Um, well, as, well, well, the point you is. Know, you know, he followed, he followed his principle out of APC into PDP. Now, what, yes. what it, it, we, we are hearing, as you have just alluded to, the fact of um, he, he might be interested in now retracing his steps Coming back to the APC, and bear in mind that he said the only reason he got in trouble with his principle is for that one trying to squash his democratic right to contest the governorship. So if he still has governorship, uh, uh, sort of a governorship uh, kind of a, an orientation, I don't know how well he's going to fit into APC uh, should well, APC well, indeed well, take well, him back. Well, uh, Yori, don't, don't drag the matter too far. Speaking fundamentally, there is no one individual who can stop another from joining a party. Under our constitution, he has the right of free assembly, free association, guaranteed for him as a Nigerian. If he wants to belong to a political party, including APC, he has the right to join, but he has to subscribe himself and subject himself to the conditionalities of what makes up member of a party. And in this case, APC, if his choice were to be APC. That's one. Secondly, coming to APC, he is going to go, he's going to go back to queue, to queue up, because the line is very long now. He's not going to come and trying to shunt. No, no, no. He will go and queue up. And I don't think he will want to do that queuing up. That's secondly. Thirdly, too many factors worked against Philip Shwaibu. 
principal of those factors is the fact that himself and Obaseki orchestrated the refusal to inaugurate 14 members of APC House of Assembly uh, elected uh, members who were supposed to be inaugurated. For four years, they were kept behind bars, so to speak. Uh, Philip Shoebu and Obaseki, they played the conquistadorial and magisterial you know, uh, power. They were, they, were, they were like tin gods. They refused people who were validly elected by their constituents to be part and parcel of a lawmaking house for the good governance of the entire state. So for, for four good years, those 40 constituents were not represented at the lawmaking house. That in itself is an impeachable offense of the governor and the deputy. But in this case, the governor has a knife and the arm. So he, he has succeeded in cutting his deputy to shape. You see, people will, will like to paper things and sweep them under the carpet where we are, where we are supposed to you know, interrogate issues with a fair mind so that a posterity will judge us better. Now, the same, the, 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 those 14 members, some of them return to the house. APC has nine members of the of the assembly if they didn't cooperate there won't be an impeachment but recalling that they were denied four years to serve their people and knowing full well that philip shabu was a mastermind and obaseki they had an opportunity to also extract a pound of flesh from from philip shabu that was why you see them go the whole hog out of 24, 23 signed signatures, only one abstained. So you see, the point must be made that when you are being confronted with power, no matter how sweet and juicy, please always have a somber mind that sometimes, someday, you may be at the receiving end of some of your actions and inactions. Indeed. Indeed. And so the word sympathy does not exist on the lips of people in Edo State with respect to this impeachment. When mm. Comrade Adam Sosomole was one shown second, the please. exit door from being, from being national chairman of the yes. APC, have you, have you forgotten that it was Obasaki and Philip Shabu that masterminded the suspension from the word, from Osomole's word, which incidentally is the same word of what? Philip Shabu? Yes, mm. they masterminded Oshimole's suspension, and from there they took up the case and all that, and they gave powers, uh, the powers of the world to 11 members, a minority members out of 24 members, and they said that, that the world has taken a decision. And so the, the, the other, the other uh, apparatus at the federal level who wanted Oshimole out of the equation, joined hands with Felicia Ebo and Obaseki, and they all flaunted their muzzle. So, at the end of the day, Oshomole was shown the exit door from the party. But as magnanimous as Oshomole will be, he told everyone who cares that he, did, he wouldn't pursue any, any litigation on that issue. He wouldn't even go to court because he was given opportunity to serve as chairman. He will continue, as, he will continue to be a law-abiding member. He also went back to contest the election as a senator, and he won. That means people were with him. If let, let, me, let, let, Shabu, let, let me bring a caller. He's so polling unit and this, yes. Let me bring on a caller. Uh, sorry so, for interrupting. Let me, let me bring on a caller who's been waiting for a while. Uh, good morning, Mr. George in Lagos. Thank you, Ori, and uh, happy Salah to you and uh, Mr. Febwa. Eid Mubarak. Thank you. Mr. Febwa, I would... Uh, Uncle Yori, let me directly talk to Mr. Febwa on this matter. First of all, okay. I want to thank him and congratulate him and uh, Comrade Oshomole for the work they have done in the reconciliation efforts towards the coming election. I would Thank want to much. ask Mr. Fegwa, Mr. Fegwa this question. If Philip Shaibu decides to return back to his master, will the comrade play the big heart like Tinubu does? Because that's what makes Tinubu sick. If you check his 
election in 2023, many of those who became the champion for him in his campaign were the boys he brought up that turned against him and later came back. Do you think that you will be able to convince the comrade to do the same? Because as we stand now, what is important is any strategy that is necessary to get Obaseki and his suit out of the way. Would you? I just want you to, okay. to let me know. Yeah. Do you think that is possible? Well, th thank you, Mr. George. I, it's an interesting I, 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 I've got... I've gotten your, I got your question very clearly. The point is that I'm not in Oshomole's heart. I'm not in his mind. Uh, I don't know how his mind is going to work on this one, but I know that some of us who are his friends and associates, we've, uh, we've told him that he may, he may decide to forget and forgive Philip Shoebu, but I don't think he will forget. Yori, it's so painful when someone you took as your own first son, even though he's not your biological son, you took him as your first son that has access to every nook and cranny of your home. You facilitated so many things for him. He became a political figure. Removed from the House of Rep to become deputy governor, even when some of us were there. They didn't consider us you know, important and necessary. Then, such a person will go to national and global television to say that you have psychiatric problems simply because you differ on issues of governance and leadership of the state. What was the crime of Oshomole at the issue? That you push you sit down and walk, or what was the problem? Okay, you try fighting him, you remove him from being national chairman, you abuse him. You have even forgotten that even the university in Iyamo, Oshomole's village, where they were to do convocation, that Felicabu rode on Okada. He rode on Okada with so many Okada to come and cause mayhem. At that point, Obaseki uh, 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 was clapping for him. So if you choose to make yourself available as the, uh, as the fall guy, then when the consequences come, we will laugh at you. So mm. that's why I tell you, I've been sure that there is no, the word sympathy it does not exist on our lips, you know, for Philip Schreiber, because we are so pained in our hearts. We used to be mm. a good, very robust you know, political mm. family, very robust. We interact, we interact with him. Even now, if we still see, we interact. But in our heart of hearts, we are pained. So whatever decision Oshomole will take, will be, will be Oshomole's own. But if I'm in Oshomole's shoe, I will yeah. tread with caution. I will yeah. tread with caution. I can forgive because to forgive is divine. I tell you, I, I hand every right to well, God. But I won't the... forget the scar oh, that is being left in right. my heart as a consequence okay. of misbehavior and bad behavior. Both okay. Obaseki and Philip Shabu, I will treat the same. All right, then. Because I think the point that man was making is that uh, Oshio Mole, as a statesman, you know, he started from Tinubu and uh, those that had, uh, quote-unquote, betrayed Tinubu, coming back later to become uh, his uh, champion. I don't know that I could have... Uh, I, I couldn't immediately think of a different or a better word than betrayed, but we're not on the same page with him. And then come back and become his champion... And uh, that being the mark of a statesman, uh, you know, he probably is viewing uh, Shomole in the same light as a statesman. But um, also there's someone else on the line, uh, Benga in Abuja. Good morning to you, sir. Be good morning, Mr. Uh, Yori, and good morning to my brother there. Prince I, I'd like to listen Atebua. to him. He has, he has facts and very articulate in his submission. Hmm. But what I want to say is that Let's ask, has Shaibu thrown away his ambition that cost him this? Because any party you want to go now, all primaries have been conducted. Can, can any party see accommodating, having conducted, having taken part in a primary and he failed and impeached? Does our law or act allow him now to, to go to any party? Now, coming to APC, just like what he has said, they can forgive, but they cannot be trusted. The trust cannot be there again. He has been a betrayer, a big one that cost Oshio Omole his chairmanship and also the governorship of APC of Edo State. Let me tell you, it was Shaibu that, 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 that managed the exit of, I mean, the absorption of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of the governor into PDP. The, the governor has no 
political attitude or what I would like for it to be able to be able to manage it. Shaibu was the one that did all the bargaining. He was the one that did all the, the, the politics there for him to be absorbed. And now there, the big wig that brought him in, in PDP are regretted absorbing him. One of them is Wike. Wike came up with and said, no, if, if, if that I'll show you forgive him, that he made mistake of taking in uh, 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 the, the, the governor. To show you that if he himself was kind of, uh, I don't know what, what, what uh, the governor gave him, to have been able to put his ambition, I mean, his political something on the line to have followed the governor. Because now he, he, he has lost on both sides. He has lost the home base, the family, the family, I mean, and the family side. He has lost it. He has lost the ambition. He has lost everything. So I just, to me, there's no pity for him. As well yesterday, when the other man came, I pity on him. His law of karma working on him. And I saw my little be somewhere now sipping his wine and, and laughing. That look, what, a, what an old man see when he sits down. A young boy will not see the climb a local tree. Or sure, Mole knew that he made a mistake on Shaibu. I mean, on uh, on the governor, but Shaibu did not know that he was he was he was he was he was, he was, he was riding on a tiger on a tiger's back. Now the tiger has done the right thing to him. Thank you very much for the time. All right then. Well, thank you very much, uh, Binga. <laughs> uh, Kasim, I don't know if you want to add to that commentary because it it bears you out and uh, it's the kind of thing you've uh, yeah, said. Yes. Yes, but you already, you know the, you know the, the painful aspect of it. This is actually political trajectory that shouldn't be cultivated and celebrated in any way because these are the behavior and inaction that takes away the beauty of a healthy democratic process. The beauty of conversational, you know, uh, process that democracy advocates. You, you, you see people behaving so badly. We clap for them. We celebrate them. They say, oh, they possess political savvy. They've got in the ingredients that they can use to manipulate the process. Then you clap for them. I said no to that. We need to begin to purge our democratic process, our political process, of bad behavior, misbehavior, and those who have the tradition of betraying causes, both human factors and otherwise, that ought to promote good leadership. Because okay. from the way a manner a politics of Edo has you know, uh, 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 proceeded for quite some time now, there, there, there is a minus because instability has prevented the governor from performing his statutory responsibility as an elected governor of the state. And whatever he wants to do, he will consider the political uh, factor. He will try to look at how to balance the forces. Because in his heart of heart, he does not mean well to the, for the people of the state. So for, 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 for once, we have seen a contradiction in the governor, fighting, fighting another contradiction, fighting another contradiction of the deputy, and now they have cancelled themselves out. One, one is sprawling on the floor. A new Edo will sprout from this crisis, and that will be a new leadership under the platform of APC. APC okay. should try as much as possible to do everything within its power to ensure that Obaseki does not produce a successor. Whatever okay. it will take, we will give it to it. We have a good oh. candidate who has emotional intelligence, who is admired by his people and all of that. And so, we will, we will rally around that candidate to ensure that we defeat those who are coming to use Edo as uh, another uh, hunting ground for economic uh, predi prediction. All right, then. Well, uh, you, you serenaded uh, democracy in there. Uh, interestingly, uh, Philip Shaibu, uh, Shaibu has been ser 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 serenading the same democracy, saying that nobody has a right to prevent him from pursuing uh, his democratic ambitions. But that's, uh, and, and therefore, you know, there's always been the question of uh, the extent to which morality and politics actually mix. mix. We've spoken about some things that border on the morality, uh, politics is what it is, but let me not keep Elder David, who is on the phone right now, uh, much longer. Uh, good morning to you, Elder. Thank you for holding on.
Go ahead, please. Go Good ahead. Morning, Go ahead, sir. Good morning, Elder David. Go ahead. Elder David from Ali Montari, hearing me well, sir. Very, very well. We are hearing you very well. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Afebua. You have said it all. Yes, Philip has tried him. He's an adopted child of Otimoli, our highly respected leader. He's the problem of, of a good state because he's a politician. It was in the house of Fred. Then the man they call of Basaki was not a politician. He worked with Dangote in Lagos before the money speaking. I see for staff, you are aware of that? Yes, yes. And those who actually or Simone have been said in Edo, where are they today that betray him? Most of them are beggars today. Or Simone is like Sinibu have been said so many people. So whatever happened, nobody should partake with Philip Shaibu. And if you like, he comes to, back to APC. But it's a complete resolution. But he will never be recognized by people from other mind. All right. They have betrayed the adult people. Because he's the one that creates problems. Not even a past decade. Okay. So what is he complaining about? All right. But at the end of the day, I thank God for one thing. As though it's an APC state. There's a so-called past decade. By this time, in November or in September, September. Oh, uh, it's October. September. It's okay. already out. Okay. Four of them will face the law of the land because they have offended God, they have offended humanity. Oh, dear. They have betrayed the good people of Edosu. Oh, dear. I don't say it's a regional headquarters. Oh. It's the worst state we ever see. All These right. are the worst governors we have ever seen in Edosu State in Nigeria. God oh. will bless you, Afrika. You have said it all. Thank, you, you, very you, Thank you very much. God will bless you. Thank you very much, Elder David. Okay, I've got to take a break now. I'll come back and we'll have the uh, convert. We'll, we'll air the conversational point um, about morality and politics. Uh, the man Shuaibu is still is serenading democracy, just as you are, Kazim. So uh, le let's come back and talk about that. Okay, welcome back. Prince Kazim Afegwa, APC chieftain and public affairs analyst is our guest this morning. And we're, we're looking at the, um, the state of the polity in Edo State. We've been talking about it. We've touched on different areas of politics. Uh, people have been talking about karma. Uh, people have been talking about good behavior, political loyalty, and all of that. Uh, even I had said that 
to um, uh, Kazim that when we come back, we might even spend a few moments on the whole concept of um, politics and morality. But before then, uh, let me cross over to Portacot. Uh, Kennedy is waiting to join the fray. Good morning, Kennedy. Yes, thank you. Thank you so very much, Mr. Yori. Thank you so very much. And good morning to you. And good morning to my very, very, my very beautiful brother there, Mr. Kasim. Yes. There's a saying. Good morning. There's a, there's a very popular saying that do, that day that the gods want to make, wants to destroy, he first makes them mad. But personally, I recoin that phrase. That those that the gods want to destroy, he first makes them lose their senses. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. Co continue, it please. Makes them lose their senses. Okay. Now let us look at let us look at let us look at Shaibu, and then let us look at Obaseki. Politically, politically, who is Obaseki? According to Afegwa, now he was picked up. He was picked up from he was picked up from being a staff to becoming a politician, and then not just a politician, made a governor. Courtesy courtesy of a uh, state godfather, whether anybody likes it or not, um, whether anybody likes it or not, comrade, comrade, Adam Sushomole is the godfather of a state. Permit me to use that word. Permit me to use the word godfather. Now, how would you be coming to a free? And then there is somebody as mighty, as mighty as Adam Sushomole, and you feel you can come and do an undo without that somebody's support? This is the God making you lose your senses. Because if the God has not made you lose your senses, there is no way on earth you want to think that you want to come against the personality of Adam of Adam's Shomali. How is that even possible? And Saibu on his own, who refuses, he, he was, he was, he was, tewag, he was wagging with Obaseki, refusing to think. Because if he had thought, he would have seen that Comrade Adam Toshomole is not a figure he wants to toy with politically. Instead, he would have solidified his make, he would have solidified his relationship with Adam Toshomole and not minding what he will lose at that time. Because something would have told him that even if he loses it at that time, a time will come. Adam Toshomole will present it to him in a platter of gold. If only he had, if only he had known that. Now, Mr. Afegwa said something now that even if at all Adam Oshomoli forgives him and the party decides to say, okay, come, because it is your right to belong to whatever party you want to belong to, will he be prepared to subject himself? Because Afegwa now said there is a queue. He must join the queue. And joining the queue means you subject yourself. Joining the queue means you humble yourself. Will his ego... And blind ambition, permit me to use that word without an apology. His ego and blind, blind ambition will he allow him to do that. And first, going to mend his relationship with a state godfather. I use, the, I use the word again without apology. If anybody is offended, I apologize to that somebody individually, not because of the wrong word. Go and apologize to your father. Because as far as a state policy is concerned, Adam Toshomoli is a father. All right, Go then. Go and apologize. Okay. Just like Sebwa said, you can only forgive, you cannot forget. Let come in. Thank you very much, Kennedy, for calling in. Uh, maybe in, in your commentary on that, we could also touch on the other question I raised about uh, politics and morality. Um, uh, we, we, somebody made the uh, parallel. Somebody made the parallel yes. about Inubu in the past and relationships that people felt could not be redeemed, but then they were dealing with a statesman, Tinumbu, and relationships not only were redeemed, those people later came on to be, you know, top fighters uh, for his uh, ambition. Uh, they, perhaps people are viewing Oshimole in that mold as well. And so the question of morality and politics, they hardly make. Saints don't go into politics with due respect to uh, present uh, politicians uh, on, on this program. Uh, Yori, the point is, I, I don't begrudge Philip Shuaibu nothing and ambition to govern the state. But uh, as a political player, you also no, no need to gauge the pulse of your boss, since you have one, and also those around the, your boss, so that you know how to locate it properly. In, in, in Robert Greene, in his 48th Laws of Power, said 
you must not try to outshine your master. From what Philip, Philip Schreiber was uh, trying to do, he was like not considering the importance of his boss in terms of his political importance, in terms of his leadership, and feeling that he can ride on the crest of his own supporters, you know, to railroad himself into the governorship uh, uh, superhighway and uh, get, you know, or get to undermine whatever the interests of his boss were. And so for me, whatever he gets out of that negligence, in terms of not reading the political temperature right, uh, that serves him very appropriately. Because when you are going into a contest, you have to weigh options. Yori, I, I enlisted to be one of the aspirants of a dual governorship uh, recently. I went around Luca Gomez campaigning and all of that. But when the factors, just like the other man said, when the factors and the godfather said, no, uh, from your side of the state, we already have a minister. We had an immediate past minister and a new minister, particularly from my local government. Kasim, please, it won't be suitable for you to champion your aspiration, even though we know you are popular, you have a name recognition, you have qualification and all of that. As a thinker, a political thinker, I said, wait a minute. If I decide to go the whole hog and try to, you know, walk against the run of play, I won't be able to go far. Okay. So I pulled back once decisions were taken that some of us should please pull back. That is how to recognize that in any political equation, you need to understand the body language, the body temperature, and the mood of those who you see as your forebears. Adam yeah. Sushomole, whether you like him or you hate him, you must give it to him that he was once an NLC president of this country. You must also give it to him that he was a two-time governor. You must give it to him that he was a national chairman of, of APC. And now, presently, he is an elected senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He has won three elections. That means he has the people by, 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 by backing him. So if you want to do anything that will contravene or that will, that will seem to underplay the importance of Anoshomole, then you will not be reading the temperature right. You will not be reading the body language right. He may okay. not be a perfect man, just like any of us. But for God's sake, you need to understand it. So when you talk about statesmanship, just three days ago, I was uh, in Adam Sushomole's house. And I told him, I said, sir, I am paid inside me. But maybe when I get to your age of over 70, maybe I'll be reasoning the way you people reason. I don't have a heart for betrayers, ingrates, and ingratitude. You're I don't have a heart for it. Because I will not betray you. I will not, I will not show ingratitude when I'm supposed to be you know, expressing gratitude to you for, for whatever you oh, Okay. Do. And if, it's not you, just about you, but but by other people. Is, is, it, no, too let me is it too far let me, gone for let me, amends let me quickly, to be made? Is it too far gone, do you think, for let me, amends let me, to be No, wait, 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 wait. Let me quickly finish this stream of thought. Because uh, Oshomole has a mind that is very unusual. Unusual in the sense that those who, who have shown, you know, remarkable behavior of betrayer are the people who even enjoy much of Adam Sushomole's attention. In the last primary, this last primary, this immediate last primary, we saw another set of betrayers and we saw how people went to him. Those who have betrayed him in the public call him all kinds of printable names and try to change whatever, you know, uh, directly has given. They went back to him in his house and they were holding his leg and crying and crying crocodile <laughs> tears. Oh, you have to me. You have to My brother, you're the, politics is terrible. <laughs> I don't have that kind of a heart. He was crying, holding his leg. You have to forgive I, us. You have to forgive us. You have to forgive us. I wanted you, you to see? finish. And I've the man will laugh over it. The man will laugh over it. Oh, okay, uh, I've been please let Diwa talk because uh, some of these please, things are quite Diwa in Abuja. Good morning and thank you very much for holding on. Go ahead, sir. You were touching me later. Mr. Giwa yes, in Abuja. Can you hear us? I'm with you. 
Yes, go ahead. You, the floor is now yours. No, I cannot, they have not. They have not. They have not. They have not welcomed me yet. I cannot see them welcome me yet. Um, you you are on to the program this morning. Now you called in. Please go ahead. Have your say. Okay, okay, okay. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, uh, Kasim, good morning. Morning. We can hear you. Please just go ahead. Go ahead and have your say. Well, all I have to say, all I have to say is Kasim knows now. You know, Oshomore is one of the the most intelligent Nigerian people to have ever been created by God. You understand? So, talking now, I'm sure our Philip Shaibu, he will accept him back. It is his son. Okay. Even, 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 your, even your son leaves you, you forgive him if he begs you. And he's begging. And he needs us. He needs the party, and the party needs to add him. Okay. Okay. Thank you. That's what you wanted to add. That actually, he needs the party now. He needs his former party. Uh, because, I don't know, we, until yesterday, I mean, until, until Monday, uh, he was a member of PDP. Uh, you say he needs his party now, and the party needs him. Um, well, uh, your comment well he's, still, he's, still, he's still a member of PDP. We are not aware that he has jumped ship. He's uh -huh. still a member of PDP. And these if are he wants ideas. To join, if he wants to join the APC, people will not stop him, but people will tread with caution. And you see, you know, the most, the most deadly of all situations is when people see you and they are, you know, poking their nose at you when you are not looking. And they say, look at that guy. No, forget him. You know, mm. people will not take him serious. So for, what, for, for whatever it is worth, we have 18 political parties in Nigeria. He can join any of them. Okay. But um, the point that, that, uh, that um, uh, Mr. Giwa made, that um, he needs the party now, that is from our point of view. We don't know what Mr. Philip Shaibu is thinking. Um, and the party needs him. Um, w w what would be your assessment of, how would you assess that second half of the statement? That the party needs which, uh, him. Which, uh, which, part, which party needs him? Uh, PDP A or what? APC. No, APC. whatever. See, for me, for me, whoever, whoever APC can reach out to in a new state that will make us win election, fine. Even if the person is bringing two votes, two votes can make a difference. Uh, that's Philip Shabu's vote and that of his wife. If he can mm. extend it to some of his aides and they can vote for the party. Oh, so be it. But just like I told you, he is not going to be in the front row. He will be at Anymore. the back. He will, go, he will go and kill. He has, he has lost. He's like a prodigal son who has misused his acquaintances. And so he has lost all of those opportunities. And so for, for, for us to integrate him properly into a party, if he chooses to become a member of APC, the leaders will take a decision, uh, irrespective of whether... There was a protestation in his local government. I hear you. But I hear you, you and it sounds logical. Yes. I hear you, and it sounds logical. But then again, those of us that are not politicians, uh, we marvel sometimes at the way you people go about those things that you do uh, behind closed doors. And the next thing we see is photo ops. And uh, all of you are holding I've each other. I've told you, I've told you, I've told you, Glory, that I don't have a heart for some of these things. That's why when I speak, you know exactly where I belong. I don't, I don't double deal. I'm, not, I'm a straightforward person, and I say this anytime. I, don't, I won't promise three people my support when I know that in my heart of heart I'm just supporting one person. I will let yeah. you know who I am so that you can deal with me on the basis of that. But in politics, the, 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 those who have the habit of betraying and even speaking from two sides of their mouth are often the ones that are cultivated. And you see them you know, riding rough short over those who are decent and who are actually trying to live a leadership that is defined or that is tempered by decency and uh, candor. And so, on this Philip Shabu's case, I will plead with Toshimole to absorb him so that he can add little value, little value to, you know, the, the, to, to the process, because anybody, any factor, any issue that will make us to defeat uh, Basaki and his godson, candidate, I'm ready for that. By crook okay. or by hook, Edo must fall for APC. We, we don't even know that Philip Shaibu is uh, interested. This is just conjecture uh, on, in the public space. So we don't even know what Philip Shaibu is going to say. As you said, he, you haven't heard that he has resigned yet.
from uh, PDP. So uh, we don't know how that is going to go. But to return to the happier point that you made earlier, you think that this, this particular configuration that's on the ground now, especially as it relates to uh, PDP and uh, relations with uh, APC, um, that now APC has a clearer field, uh, le you know, there's less static. Uh, now the people of Edo can be better served, which is where everybody wanted to be uh, with the removal of um, yes. Shaibu. You see, the point is that both Obaseki and Shulishaibu were bad products. The only difference is that one is the boss of the other. So he has helped the other, he is subordinate to exit the, uh, the, the podium of leadership. And so we only have an Obaseki to contend with. We are not having the two of them now. So we have one Obaseki to contend with. And for us, we are going to go all out to ensure that we uproot Obaseki as another bad factor that has dragged Edo backward and put Edo on the, on the public uh, domain for the wrong reasons all the time. You can't be fighting the monarchy about Benin. You can't be fighting the palace. You can't be fighting about our artifacts. You can't be fighting with your deputy. You can't be fighting with uh, your party leaders and all that. And we will allow you to produce a successor who may probably start from where you stop by deepening the schisms and the acrimonies that presently permeate the length and breadth of Edo. We want a new lease of life. And our candidate, the APC candidate, Monde Okwebolo, resonate that particular candor. And with mm. little emotional intelligence, we'll get the, the, the entire ship sailing. And come September 21st, by 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, we will have known the outcome of our results because we'll have our men on ground. Bumper to bumper, no shaking, no movement, nothing. We will not, we will not fall into those pranks of a basket in 2020. No, this is a new, oh. uh, a new motivation. And we are going to pursue it to a logical conclusion on that day. I can assure you that by November, there will be an APC governor in Edo State. Okay, then. we leave it at there. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Prince Kasima Febwa, uh, APC chieftain and uh, public affairs analyst, uh, for sharing your views uh, this morning on uh, the politics of uh, Edo State and other matters. Thank you very much for your time, as always. And please, okay. and please, and please t always remind people that they should know the path that took them to where they are, so that situations such as that of, Ob of uh, Obaseki and Felizabu will not happen to them in their life. There is always okay, need gonna, to be grateful as I said, we got to, to show leave gratitude it there. to people oh, okay, who have helped okay, you to then. climb certain leadership podium. Okay then, Prince Kazim, thank you very much. Okay, just to say that um, following you. immediately uh, the Ondo governorship aspirant,